Hey there and welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how you can create this perspective effect using Elementor and basic CSS. So as you can see, there's different effects here that you can do. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Okay, so I've got a very basic canvas setting here. I'm gonna add a section going to add a title I've just added a, a section with a title or a heading element and now I'm going to go and add the magic I've got my pre-made CSS here so this um, as you can see here this goes into the section CSS so I'm going to go into the section settings, go to advanced, custom CSS, I'm going to pop that in there, I'm going to copy that element, I'm going to go to advanced and pop that into the classes. Now I'm going to go and, and edit the element itself, it's CSS, and I'm going to go and grab that, copy that in, get the perspective, and then I'm going to add that to the class. And you can start seeing now that there's some thing going on here. So now you have to start tweaking this. So I go back to the settings section, uh, section settings, and I'm going to put a larger value on this one. So you can now see that it's sort of positioned a little bit better. Um, so you're going to just have to play around with um, where you want that to go. Um, and then you go back to the element settings, uh, CSS. And this is where the magic is in this transform rotate. Okay, so that's on a Y axis. So if I change that to 60 degrees, then you can see that it's now changing the perspective depth of that. And of course, now I can go into style and I can update up the font size just to make it a bit bigger. Now I do want the, the text to be a little bit over to the left more. So I go back to the settings in the perspective for the section. And I'm going to just make this a value of like 1800, maybe make it 64. Yeah, as you can see, the, the lesser I go in the value, it moves to the left hand side, which is kind of what I wanted. Okay, so that's cool. Now, um, this all works the same. You can use the custom positioning as well, um, like the absolute, and move the element around if you want. That's all fine, you can do that. If you want it to go on the other angle, you just put a negative value to the degree. And then, yeah, that's actually looking pretty neat. So I might just leave that, maybe bring that back to like 50 or 40. So yeah, you just sort of play around with it. Then you can start also using the other rotate values for the CSS, the transform rotate. So there's also rate rotate maybe that, X as well. And you'll see what I mean by what happens here. Uh, so if I put 40 degrees, so there you can see it's now being changed on a different on the x-axis, right? And then you can also use the rotate value. So I'm going to go degree as well here, and I'm going to go like five degrees. And then of course, you know, the more you go up, it just sort of spins it. So that's on the rotate degree. So that looks pretty neat. So you just sort of play around with these different values and you might have to go back to the value of your section settings and increase that just with the, get the desired results. Yeah, so it's, it's really cool. You can really, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> so obviously that's way too close, um, but you know, something like that, 800 or a thousand, something like that. Yeah, you just sort of play around till you get the right sort of effect that you're after with the element. So so that's it, guys. Now, of course, you've got to look at the mobile optimization and make sure that it all works properly in mobile uh, and tablet. Um, again, you'll have to probably tweak some stuff to get that actually working right. Um, this is just a really basic overview video. And, uh, and also different browser supports as well. So um, you might have to tweak it to get different browsers to work properly. So, uh, but that's it guys, that's, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, in, just put, pop them in the comments below or uh, if you love this video and you wanna share it with all the world, then please go ahead and do so. Uh, share it with your neighbors, your best friends, or just to anybody who would appreciate this. So 
So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.